Hey guys, welcome back again to another exciting video. Previously, we have discussed about the sitar. We hope you have learned a lot about it from the previous video. If you have not seen it, then you can catch up with it by clicking the link in description. Here, in today's video, we will give you the short introduction on xylophone. Therefore, before we begin, if you are new to this channel and like the content what we post, then go and hit the subscribe button and push the bell icon so that you'll never miss this kind of interesting videos when we post them. Let's get started. Xylophone is a musical instrument in the percussion family that consists of wooden bars struck by mallets. Like glockenspiel, the xylophone essentially consists of a set of tuned keys arranged in a fashion of the keyboard of a piano. Each bar is an ideophone tuned to a pitch of a musical scale, whether pentatonic or heptatonic in the case of many African and Asian instruments, diatonic in the many western children's instrument or chromatic for orchestral use. The term xylophone may be used generally to include all such instruments such as the marimba, balafon, and even the semantron. However, in the orchestra, the term xylophone refers specifically to a chromatic instrument of somewhat higher pitch range and drier timber than the marimba. And these two instruments should not be confused. A person who plays the xylophone is known as xylophonist or simply a xylophone player. The term is also popularly used to refer to similar instruments of the lithophone and the metallophone types. For example, the pixiphone and similar toys described by makers as xylophones have bars of metal rather than of wood and so are in organology regarded as glockenspiels rather than as xylophones. Well, this was the introduction. Now let's look into the history. The instrument has obscure ancient origins. According to Ned, it originated in Southeast Asia and came to Africa in AD 500 when a group of Malayo-Polynesian speaking people migrated to Africa. One piece of evidence for this is the similarity between East African xylophone orchestras and Javanese and Balinese gamelan orchestras. This, however, has been questioned by entomusicologist and linguist Roger Blank, who posits an independent origin in Africa. At the same time, a xylophone-like instrument called the Ranath is reputed to have existed in Hindu regions. Proof that xylophones were widespread in Southeast Asia is provided by numerous temples reliefs depicting people playing such instruments. Asian Xylophone The earliest evidence of a true xylophone is from the 9th century in Southeast Asia, while a similar hanging wood instrument, a type of harmonicon, is said by the Vienna Symphonic Library to have existed in 2000 BC in what is now part of China. The xylophone-like rant was used in Hindu regions Kashtatharam. In Indonesia, few regions have their own type of xylophones. In North Sumatra, the Toba Batak people use wooden xylophones known as garatan. Java and Bali use xylophones called gambang, rindik and tinkling in gamelan ensembles. They still have traditional significance in Malaysia, Melanesia, Indonesia, Thailand, Myanmar and regions of America. In Myanmar, the xylophone is known as patala and is typically made of bamboo. African Xylophone The term marimba is also applied to various traditional folk instruments such as the West Africa balaphone. Early forms were constructed of bars atop a gourd. The wood is first roasted around a fire before shaping the key to achieve the desired tone. The resonator is tuned to the key through careful choice of size of resonator. Adjustment of the diameter of the mouth of the resonator using wasp wax and adjustment of the height of the key above the resonator. A skilled maker can produce startling amplifications. The mallets used to play the dibinda and imbila 
have heads made from natural rubber taken from a wild creeping plant. Interlocking or alternating rhythm features in Eastern African xylophone music such as that of the Makonde Dimbila, the Yao Mangolon Gondo or the Shrima Mangvilo in which the opera the initial caller is responded to by another player the wakulela this usually doubles an already rapid rhythmic pulse that may also coexist with the counter rhythm now let's talk about the embila the embila in plural timbila is associated with the choppy people of the inhambane province in southern mozambique it is not to be confused with the embira the style of music played on it is believed to be the most sophisticated method of composition yet found among pre-literate peoples the god resonated equal ratio heptatonic tuned embila of mozambique is typically played in large ensembles in a choreographed dance perhaps depicting a historical drama ensembles consists of 10 xylophone of 3 or 4 sizes a full orchestra would have two bass instruments with called gulu with three or four wooden keys played standing up using heavy mallets with solid rubber heads three tena dibinda with 10 keys and played seated and the embila itself which has up to 19 keys of which up to eight may be played simultaneously the guru uses goads and the embila and dibinda masala apple shells as resonators they accompany the dance with long composition called gomi and godo and consists of about 10 pieces of music grouped into four separate movements with an overture in different tempos and styles the ensemble leader serves as poet composer conductor and performer creating a text improvising a melody partially based on the features of the choppy tone language and composing a second counterpuntal line the musicians of the ensemble partially improvise their parts the composer then consults with the choreographer of the ceremony and adjustments are made the longest and most important of these is the zeno which will include a song telling of an issue of local importance or even making fun of a prominent figure in the community the gil it is a pentatonic instrument common to the gur speaking populations in ghana burkina faso mali and ivory coast in west africa the gil is the primary traditional instrument of the the gara people of northern ghana and burkina faso and of the lobi of ghana southern burkina faso and ivory coast the gil is usually played in pairs accompanied by a calabash go drum called a kor it can be played by one person also with a drum and a stick part as accompaniment or by a soloist gil duets are traditional music of dagara funerals the instrument is generally played by men who learn to play while young however there is no restrictions on gender the gil's design is similar to the balaba or balafon used by the mande speaking bambara diula and soso people further west in southern mali and western burkina faso a region that shares many musical traditions with those of northern ivory coast or ghana it is made with 14 wooden keys of an african hardwood called liga attached to a wooden frame below which hang calabash goats spider web silks cover small holes in the goat to produce a buzzing sound and antelope sinew and leather are used for fastening the instrument is played with rubber headed wooden mallets now let's see silimba the silimba is a xylophone developed by lozi people in barosland western zambia the tuned keys are tied atop resonating goats the silimba or shinjimba is used by the koya people of western zambia at traditional royal ceremonies like the kazanga koya the shilimba is now used in most parts of zambia akadinda amadinda and embere 
The Akadinda and the Amadinda are xylophone like instruments originating in Uganda in modern day Uganda. The Amadinda is made of 12 logs which are tuned in pentatonic scale. It mainly is played by three players. Two players sit on opposite of each other and play the same logs in an interlocking technique in a fast tempo. It has no gold resonators or buzzing tone, two characteristics of many other African xylophones. The Amadinda was an important instrument at the royal court in Uganda and Ugandan kingdom. A special type of notation is now used for this xylophone, consisting of number for and periods, and is also the case with the Embel, a type of xylophone originating in southern Uganda. Balo The Balo Balenje or Behlanje is used among the Madinka people of West Africa. Its keys are mounted on goads and struck with mallets with rubber tips. The players typically wear iron cylinder and rings attached to their hands so that they jingle as they play. Now let's see the western xylophone. The earliest mention of a xylophone in Europe was in Arnold Schlegspiegel der Orgelmacher und Organisten in 1511 where it is called Holzglescher means wooden clatter. There follow other descriptions of the instrument, though the term xylophone is not used until the 1860s. The instrument was associated largely with the folk music of Eastern Europe, notably Poland and Eastern Germany. An early version appeared in Slovakia, and the earliest reference to a similar instrument came in the 14th century. The first use of an European orchestral xylophone was in Camille Saint Saint's Danse Macabre in 1874. By that time, the instrument had already been popularized to some extent by Michael Joseph Guzikov, whose instrument was the five row xylophone made of 28 crude wooden parts arranged in semitones in the form of a trapezoid and resting on straw supports. There were no resonators and it was played fast with spoon shaped sticks. According to musicologist Kurt Schaas, Guzikov performed in garden concerts, variety shows and as a novelty act at symphony concerts. The western xylophone was used by early jazz bands and in vaudeville. Its bright, lively sound worked well and syncopated dance music of the 1920s and 1930s. Fred Narvo, George Carey, George Hamilton Green, Teddy Brown and Harry Brewer were well-known users. As time passed, the xylophone was exceeded in popularity by the metal key vibraphone which was developed in the 1920s. A xylophone with a range extending downwards into the marimba range is called a xylorimba. The orchestral scores, a xylophone can be indicated by the French clacky boys, German Halsharmonica, literally wooden harmonica or Italian xylophono. Shostakovich was particularly fond of this instrument. It has a prominent role in much of his work including most of his symphonies and his cello concerto number two. Modern xylophone players include Bob Becker, Evelyn Glennie and Ian Finkel. In the United States, there are Zimbabwean marimba bands in particularly high concentration in the Pacific Northwest Colorado and New Mexico, but band exist from the East Coast through California and even to Hawaii and Alaska. The main event for this community is Zimfest, the annual Zimbabwean musical festival. The bands are composed of instruments from high sopranos through to lower sopranos, tenor, baritone and bass. Resonators are usually made with holes covered by thin cellophane similar to the balafon to achieve the characteristic buzzing sound. The repertoires of US band tends to have a great overlap due to the common source of the Zimbabwean musician Dumisani Marari, who was the key person who first brought Zimbabwean music to the West coming to the University of Washington in 1968. Now let's see how it is constructed. The modern western xylophone has bars of rosewood, padder, 
और वेरियस सिंथेटिक मटेरियल सच एज फाइबर ग्लास और फाइबर ग्लास रे इनफोर्स प्लास्टिक विच अलाउज अ लाउड साउंड सम कैन बी एज स्मॉल एज अ रेंज ऑफ टू एंड हाफ ऑक्टिव्स बट कॉन्सेप्ट जाइलोफोन्स आर टिपिकली थ्री एंड हाफ और फोर ऑक्टिव्स Like the Glock and Spear, the xylophone is a transposing instrument. Its parts are written one octave below the sounding notes. Concert xylophones have tube resonators below the bars to enhance the tone and sustain. Frames are made of wood or cheap steel tubing. More expensive xylophones feature height adjustment and more stability in the stand. In other music cultures, some versions have gourds that act as Helmholtz resonators. Others are trough xylophones with a single hollow body that acts as a resonator for all the bars. Old methods consisted of arranging the bars on tight bundles of straw and as still practiced today placing the bars adjacent to each other in the ladder like layout. Ancient mallets were made of willow wood and spoon like bows on the beaten ends. Xylophones should be played with very hard rubber polyball or acrylic mallets. Sometimes medium to hard rubber mallets, very hard core or yarn mallets are used for softer effects. Lighter tones can be created on xylophones by using wooden headed mallets from the rosewood, ebony, birch and other hardwoods. Xylophone is used in elementary education. Many music educators use xylophones as a classroom resource to assist children's musical development. One method noted for its use of xylophone is orf shelvo, which combines the use of instruments, movement, singing and speech to develop children's musical abilities. Xylophones used in American general music classrooms are smaller at about 1 and 1/2 octaves than the 2 and 1/2 or more octave range of performance xylophone. The bass xylophone ranges are written from middle C to A an octave higher but sound one octave lower than written. The alto ranges are written from middle C to A an octave higher and sound as written. The soprano ranges are written from middle C to A an octave higher but sound one octave higher than written. According to Andrew Tracy, marimbas were introduced to Zimbabwe in 1960. Zimbabwean marimba based upon Shona music has also become popular in the west which adopted the original use of these instruments to play transcriptions of mbira zawazimu as well as yunga nyunga and matape music the first of these transcriptions had originally been used for music educations in zimbabwe zimbabwean instruments are often in a diatonic c major scale which allows them to play with western tuned mbira g nyamaropa sometimes with an added f sharp key placed in line well that was the short introduction on xylophone we hope you have understood today's concept if you have any doubts then you can mail us at the mail id which is provided down in the description if you have liked today's video then don't forget to drop a like to it and share it with your family and friends so that even they get to know about xylophone To be notified when we upload these kind of interesting videos you should go and hit the subscribe button with the bell icon. You can follow us over Facebook and Instagram for more updates. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video very soon. Till then you can watch the rest of the videos which are going to appear right now here on the screen. Enjoy.